My sisters and brothers in Christ, we are connected from generation to generation from the beginning. As each one is conceived, our name becomes eternal as a child of God. God bestows upon us his divine love. He gives his heart to us through his Son, Jesus Christ. He joins with us as part of salvation history. Salvation is not something that happened, but is happening, is alive through our bringing Christ to everyone we meet. The psalmist tells us, we are blessed as we seek God with all our heart. It is not a plural heart, but one heart, the heart that makes us one as his children. This is the awesome opportunity of our Catholic appeal. If we are who we believe we are, God's children, then we're on a pilgrimage to heaven, not individually, but together. We have a family of parishes of four different parishes, three here in Lakeland and then one in Winter Haven. Each of the four parishes are individual. They have their own identity, they're their own communities. We don't try to merge. What we do is we say, what's the charism of this community? What is it called to do? And then we, we develop that and we share those gifts. My position is to take Father Tim's vision and put that into place. So use my gifts and talents to put forth what he envisions for the parishes so that he can focus more on celebrating Mass, hearing confessions, ministering to the people. My role is to educate and to encourage laity so that they can do the ministries that priests don't necessarily need to do. All of our parishes in the Western Deanery Collaborative are debt-free at this point. Our schools are flourishing, they're growing. The more that we become unified, the more that we share resources, the more that we share personnel, and to really reach out to each other, I think the better that we become the body of Christ. We've never had flooding to this level. It was just incredible to see the amount of water, intrusion into the cabins, the low ropes course completely covered, many trees that are down and crushed parts of the boardwalk. It's sad because we work so hard to make San Pedro beautiful, but it also encourages our faith that through God's help we will rebuild. The idea is, if we're going to be pro-life people, we have to really kind of put our money where our mouth is. we got to get out there and help moms who need help. As you guys can see, <laughs> the outpour of support was incredible. We all journey as a community and we help one another. That's our Christian call. I have a two children and I have a twins in my belly, so it's a good blessing for me. begins with just fun. So Friendship Fellowship once again establishing a sense of community amongst the young people, but it moves from fun and fraternity into food and then into faith. They are questioning everything they've ever been taught. They genuinely want to know. They want those answers. And you have this beautiful opportunity in middle school to give them those answers. I like how in the beginning we can just like hang out with our friends and at the end we can grow closer to God. And I also love how volunteers take their own time to come with us and help us. You help one young person find the joy of Christ. They will do a better job than anyone at spreading the word. We just like all get along like a little family. It's helped me realize who I am. This is our future, not only in the church, but also in the world as well. And so if this faith can be established here, then we trust that we can do our small part for bringing about a renewal in our society. Magnify is the church's mission in the Diocese of Orlando to support individuals with developmental disabilities to be as independent as possible. We're about helping them to share their abilities. The light from the residents of Bishop Grady Villas was so powerful. A little seed, a mustard seed of faith, everything just grew. This year, we're excited to expand into seven counties so that we can really truly serve people who are in need the parishes of the diocese all come together and support us. We depend on you to make our mission possible. It's a tremendous opportunity just to work with two highly educated women of faith. We're on a shared campus. 
and I feel like I can lean on their experiences in their own journeys to help guide me. Be able to turn to them and ask for their support and receive it is really special. The Catholic schools are an extension of the church and Bishop Noonan has entrusted us with leading these schools and faith formation of our students is our number one priority. It's really about, in my opinion, preparing them for their next step, whatever that next step might be, and to give them that courage, that strength to get there. If I could welcome everyone in who makes a donation, I would. You would see firsthand the faces of the kids who are so happy and appreciative to be in a Catholic school. You would see the faces of the teachers who appreciate the fact that they can pray with their students every day. Thank you for being Christ-like. Thank you for your generosity to our Catholic appeal. I ask you to participate because we are all on this journey of faith together. It is the essence of the Eucharist to be in communion with each other, to be His presence, in every moment of our lives. The Lord be with you, and may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever, amen.